What is up guys, Pie Muffin here, and we are back with our SAO Rising Steel video. Today we're going to be talking about how to get all the Limit Break materials for the free-to-play 4-star Alice. I've been getting this question a lot in some of my other videos, and instead of just replying to everyone separately, I figured I'd just make a full video for anyone who is actually curious. So, if you don't know, the free-to-play 4-star Alice is a healing unit you get from this season of PvP. She is at the very top right there, you gotta get to double S rank, which... If you were playing from day one, wasn't too hard because a lot of people were still building up their teams. I'd say at this point, it's probably a lot harder. As you can see, all the teams I would have to fight against here are uh, pretty leveled up. So obviously the next season of PvP won't be as easy, but most people who've been playing since day one should have that Alice by now. Um, you can still get it because PvP is not that bad because you're really not... You, you can't go... As far as I'm aware, I haven't lost that much, so I can't really say, but... I'm pretty sure you don't go down in rank. I'm pretty sure you just get points if you win, and that's pretty much it. So, it's really not that bad to get up to double S rank as long as you put the work in. Now, let's go over the 400 crystals you need to get to get her to level uh, 100. So, first of all, the first 200 shards are fairly... Uh, si I wouldn't say simple to get, but it's pretty straightforward. So, I've already collected 100 of them because you need to complete the entire main story all the way through Chapter 12. As you can see here for the hard mode, it says final difficulty, uh, level hard one time. And what that means is you go over to the quest, you go to the Chapter 12, and you pretty much just have to beat all the way through this quest, which the final battle itself is level 80. So, most people right now, since the game's only like a week old, are probably going to have quite a bit of trouble with that fight, as did I. Even though I have a full team of four stars, it was still hard. Um, so yeah, you gotta do that for normal and hard. Hard, I'm not gonna be doing at all anytime soon because I can barely beat normal. So there's no way I'm gonna be able to beat hard without having to do like a million retries. Um, but these are regular missions, so it doesn't seem like they go anywhere. So you could wait like six months and do it then and still get these shards. Now... The thing I'm curious about, so the other 200 shards are all in Cathedral Assault. You get, so let's go here. In normal mode, you get 50 shards for getting all the way to floor 50. So floor 50 is the final floor for normal mode. Now for hard mode, you get the other 150. I haven't done it yet, but it's at stage 50, you get another 50, and then you get the final 100 at floor 95. I don't know if I'm going to be able to beat this, but here's the thing I'm curious about. So, this goes until 1223, which is still, you know, almost a month away. Like, four days away from being an entire month. Or, four days ago would have been an entire month. Um, so, my question is, are the reward, are these shard rewards going to change every month because if that's the case then people won't be able to get this free to play alice to level 100 now if they just repeat like for a few months like maybe the first three months they just have the same rewards as these shards for alice then maybe that wouldn't be so bad but i'm really not sure how they're going to handle stuff so my recommendation is really try to uh knock this out in the time frame that we have Considering it's a kind of, you can, you know, heal your characters every couple of days or whatever, because you get one heal back every day in Cathedral Assault, you know, I feel like most players will probably beat hard mode by then, but you never know. You know, some people may just be extremely unlucky with pulls. Being able to beat Cathedral mode with a full team of three stars might be, <laughs> I don't know if it'll be possible with the units we currently have in the game. Plus, the issue we're kind of dealing with here is... They are just kind of recycling. I mean, obviously, it's the first week of the game, I understand. But we're just getting, like, these pickup scouts uh, banners for the units who are already in the game. So we aren't getting a huge variety of units starting out yet. But that's pretty much how you get all 200 shards. Um, like I said, 100 of them will be shards that stay around forever. Um, as long as the game is around. Because, obviously, they are just regular missions for completing the main story. So that's not too bad. Um, but as for the event ones, I'm really not sure how they're going to handle this. Um, but I guess, you know, it's one of those things where tons of gacha games have this thing where it's like, they'll have a free-to-play unit that's available to get to max level or whatever for a limited time. And if you don't do it during that time, then you're kind of out of luck until they decide to bring it back. So, 
it, it's not like it's demanded that you know this stuff stay around forever so I would just say put as much work in as you can try and get her limit broken as much as possible obviously the other two four stars uh that are free in the game the swords oh, Lena and the eye patch Alice are much easier to get all their limit break shards um if you guys need a video on how to do that uh I will cover it but those are pretty straightforward uh and simple themselves anyways guys that is gonna be it for this video I just wanted to explain that real quick how to get the shards because I've had a lot of people ask how to get the kid Alice's shards it is pretty uh hard so you are gonna have to grind up a bit even someone like me you know looking at my team right here this team was just barely able to get through the main story um once we have more variety of types and stuff you know when i can make full element teams you know full dark full fire uh all that good stuff it'll be a little different i can go back through those missions and have a much easier time but for right now i pretty much have the best team that i can make with the units that i currently own so it is what it is but anyways, thank you all for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe for more if you're new to the channel. We have gotten a, a, basically 100 subscribers in the last week that this game has been out. So thank you all who have been subscribing. And let's continue subscribing. I think we can hit 1,000 subs by the end of 2019. Uh, we'll see how it goes, but uh, I think we can do it. Anyways, thank you all for watching. I will see you all next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.